Okay, welcome to our first installment of the multimeter. And what we have is just a very generic multimeter. There are different manufacturers and different brands that are out there. This is just one of many. There are three predominant things that we use a multimeter to measure. The very first and most common type is to measure voltage. And voltage, there are two types, AC, alternating current, and DC, direct current. So if we want to set this multimeter to read voltage, we are measuring across something. So the very first thing we need to do is set our multimeter to read voltage. To do so, we want to select either the millivolt range, which is very low, or the typical volt range, which is our most common measurement. So let's move our dial to the volt range. Now in this particular meter, it notices that it says V, and then it's got an analog meter right here. Every multimeter is different, so you have to use your own equipment and get comfortable with that equipment to make the right determination. We have set it to voltage. Now we need to select which value of AC or DC do we wish to measure. Let's do DC, direct current. If I had left this and not pushed this button, it is going to be set for DC. If I push it once, it goes to AC. So if I push it back, I am now back to direct current. The next step that I will need to do is put my probes onto the multimeter. Because it's a multimeter, it means many. There are many options that I can do. So I have to be very careful where I put my meter leads at, my probes. The very first thing, since we're looking for voltage, is to find down here on our lead section where it says voltage. And it looks like right here I can measure the volts and resistance on this setting. So I will go to here and install my red lead. Historically, red is going to be my positive. In AC, red is going to be a hot lead as well. Now, I need to have a common point, and that will be followed usually on almost all multimeters directly next to that, and that will be that probe right there. Black for mobile 12 volt systems is used to indicate the negative side. However, in AC electricity, the black is considered the hot side. So now we have some color issues that we have to be concerned with. All multimeters use the black for commonality. Red will be the point of measure in which we wish to use, such as voltage, resistance, and current. So we have our multimeter, and we have it set to read voltage. And I'm going to put a just simple lead-acid battery in front, and I'm going to go red to the positive side, black to the negative side, and you'll see that this battery is a 12-volt gel cell, and it's reading 12.75 volts. If I had placed the negative to the positive, I will still get the same voltage potential of 12.75 volts, but notice that it's negative flow. It's just telling me the minus and pluses are switched. If I accidentally had this set to AC, look what happens. It's going to read AC on this DC circuit, and in this case, there is none. It's showing me thousands of a volt, which is just stray, unwanted noise, other things that are out there that this multimeter is picking up. So it doesn't tell me that I have a bad power supply. It's just telling me that there is no AC present on this DC sitting. To review, the multimeter needs to be set to the right dial setting. It needs to be set to the right area. And then the third area that it needs to be selected is the right lead setting. So there's multiple steps within the multimeter to set it there. This meter is auto-ranging. I did not need to set the range, meaning if I had 120 volts DC, it would have read 120. If it was 12, like this battery, it read 12. So the problem becomes, on older meters, we will need to worry about ranges. We will deal with that in another segment.